Wigan Council this week have ramped up, if you like, the the talk about Ashfield and the Village Green application that I've put in to, to save Ashfield Park and playing fields. And by doing that, I've put a Village Green application in, so it saves the park and the playing fields forever, effectively. What the park, uh, sorry, what the Wigan Council is saying is um, it's safe in their hands. Um, there's no development planned and they're, they're never going to develop on Ashfield. Um, and the park is safe, effectively. Now, when you're dealing with Wigan Council, which I have done for over many years, and if anybody who's dealt with any legal matters, you know that the it's always down in the details and the wording. So when Wigan Council say Ashfield Park is safe, what effectively they are saying is this bit behind me is safe, the play area, the play equipment is safe. However, what is not safe and what is open for uh, development is the playing fields, uh, which are just uh, over there to my left hand side. Now then, on that case, the Village Green has to still go ahead because I, as a local resident, lived here all my life, born and bred in Standish, local councillor for Standish. I want to protect not only the park, which I think is important, but also the playing fields as well. Now, back in 2012 or 2011 when it opened up, the Queen Elizabeth uh, Field Challenge was opened up and, and that was effectively landowners, only landowners, which is Wigan Council in this case, could register uh, parks and playing fields, especially playing fields, to be protected forever from development. Now I asked Wigan Council to do that, um, like I said, because they were the only ones that could do it. They said no. They did one in Shevington, they did one in Ince, but they didn't do Ashfield Park in Standish, which is interesting. Now, Wigan Council have so far spent nearly £100,000 on trying to stop the Village Green application and they would say they're trying to save the park. Now, do you think Wigan Council would spend £100,000 to play a play area? Because that's when they're talking about the park, they're talking about the play area. When I talk about Ashfield Park, I talk about the whole area, including the playing field, which effectively is where the houses would go. So, basically what would happen is Wigan Council would develop the playing fields but keep the park and then the park would effectively become um, a park within a housing estate. Just like this one behind the Beaches restaurant. <coughs> Earlier on um, I talked about um, the difference what the council are trying to do in saving the park which is the play area and not necessarily the playing fields. Wigan Council this week have put out uh, information saying uh, basically the Village Green application is based on falsehood and don't put your money into the legal fund because you're just wasting your money because it's safe forever in their hands. Now I want to deal with the, the second part first of all which is the legal fund. Wigan Council is trying to say and encourage you not to do the uh, put money into the, the legal fund because effectively they want their barrister that they've got. The one that they've probably spent the, the majority of the £100,000 trying to stop this village green application even going ahead up until this point. But what they want, they want their barriers to go against somebody like myself. Now, this has been, been a, a large part of my life for the last three years. It's taken a huge chunk up. Uh, not just mine, everybody else that's helped the campaign as well. So basically, we now we've got a, a leading barrister on the case, one that specialises and knows the technicalities and the legalities of Village Green application. Wigan Council have got worried. They've got worried because we know we've got a strong piece of uh, equipment on our side, this leading barrister that we have. And they, they want to stop that. They don't want to have us to have the strongest case. So by putting out the propaganda and trying to say that it's based on falsehoods and lies this really green application, which I'll come to in a little bit, the whole thing is it's going to try and starve it of oxygen, i.e. fund, and therefore it'll just go away and they, they get what they want, which is no village green on Ashfield. However, the first part of the, the legal fund, which was to get the, the legal draft drawn and the legal technical argument, which is will be part of the bundles of the, the evidence that will go into last for four days. That's already been commissioned. Uh, a large part of that has already been paid for 
Um, that was actually paid yesterday, funnily enough. Uh, we got the bill in, so we paid it straight away. Um, so, in terms of that part, that is job done. What they don't want now is to have us have this barrister represent us for the four days, and that's why they're trying to squeeze the argument and, and try and not get this, uh, let us get the funding here the week so we can have the, uh, the barrister represent us for the four days. Effectively, it'll come back down to themselves to represent us for the four days, which, you know, if we've got to do, we've got to do. That's absolutely fine. But that's the, that's the reasoning for behind that. Now, first of all, they said this village green application is based on falsehood, but that's that's nonsense because, first of all, an application goes in, the registration officer at uh, the registration office looks at it, and then they determine whether it's valid. An inspector is then appointed, an independent inspector, uh, not one for me, I don't choose it, not from the council, they don't choose it, and he looks at it and he says whether it's valid or not. You know, Wigan Council has spent £100,000 nearly on trying to argue that it's not a valid application and the inspector, who's an independent inspector, has said no, there is merit in this application, it is valid and the only way to determine this is a four day public inquiry. And so that's the first reason why it's not a falsehood. But as part of an application for a village green, you have obviously your application form and your basic information that goes in there, but you also have to put in these. These are just three of the large bundles of uh, witness statements from yourself, people in the community, people from in Sandwich, in fact people that have lived in Sandwich and moved away but a new stash field have got involved which is brilliant. Now these are your uh, experiences in how you do Vashfield Park over the years and, and currently do. And for Wigan Council to say that they're lies and falsehood, I just think that's disgraceful that they treat people in Sandwich with so little disregard. They have so little empathy for what you've put in these files and these obviously are part of the evidence and crucial. Um, so I just think that's wrong for Wigan Council to do that. Hi. Next of all, I mentioned about back in 2011 that we asked Wigan Council to register uh, Ashfield as the Queen Elizabeth's Jubilee Park and that would uh, determine that the, the park would be safe forever. Uh, not just the play area, but also the playing fields, which is obviously important to everybody. So what we... Uh, obviously, they registered one in Cheventon, they registered one in Ince, but they refused to do Ashfield. Now, somebody's done a little research into this, and actually that, that method, that uh, procedure is still available. Although it wouldn't be called Queen Elizabeth playing fields no more, or uh, part of that scheme. It can be done what we call fields in trust, which is effectively keeping the fields for perpetuity, forever, for the people of Standish. And that's interesting that that mechanism is still available to Wigan Council, because it's only available to Wigan Council because they're the landowners. So effectively, what uh, Wigan Council can do is they can stop all this, um, and this is my challenge to Wigan Council. If Wigan Council, if you register these fields in trust forever for the people of Standish, I will consider removing and rejecting the village green application that I put in for the people of Standish. The question is, will you put the fields in trust for people in Standish, a legal document to protect them forever? You say you want to do it, I say we want you to do it, will you do it? Over to you.